guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about another very scary, horrifying Japanese creature. It is called the Jorogumo, also known as the Spider Woman. And no, this creature is not a superhero. She is actually terrifying to look at. Imagine a woman with spider legs. Not very fun. Before I get into that though, I just wanted to remind you that this is your last chance to enter to win this backdrop behind me. In my next video, I'm going to be announcing the winner. If you wanna win, it just be subscribed to this channel, be following my Jessie V Instagram, and send me a DM telling me what your constellation would look like in the sky. It's basically a formation of stars that you can make look like anything. So send me that DM and that's how you'll be entered to win. Also, if you're checking out the new lightning necklace that I'm wearing and the lightning earrings. This all comes in a set on our website and it is on the more pricier side because this is real shell, which I love. It is gorgeous. It's so shimmery and shiny and I love the look of lightning bolts. So if you guys would like this set, I've put a link to it down below in the description. And also a heads up, my sister Mandy V has launched a new plushy line. She has an autumn fox and cuddles the black bear. They're absolutely adorable but my most favorite item that she just launched is the s'mores bear are you kidding me this thing is so cute I love it it's literally a marshmallow bear with chocolate and graham crackers if you guys would like any of these new items I have also linked them down below all right guys without further ado let's talk about the spider woman according to a legend in Japan when a Jorogumo spider turns 400 years old it gains these magical powers and begins to to eat humans instead of insects. This spider is said to look exactly like a golden orb weaver in real life and these spiders are very large with females of the species growing up to 2.5 centimeters in body length and guys that is not including their legs so that is crazy and they weave these webs that are large enough to reach between two tree trunks and the spider's habitat is basically everywhere in Japan and sometimes they get so big that they can catch and eat small birds and because of their large size and the meaning of their name these Joro spiders became associated with supernatural events and I'm so sorry I had to show real spider pictures at the beginning of this video I hate looking at it too trust me I just had to show you what the real spider looks like in comparison to the legend but I too am arachnophobic so I completely understand if you're freaked out too so the name of this creature is said to also mean woman spider or entangling bride. It changes its appearance into a beautiful woman to ask a samurai to marry her and then she will entrap him to eat. However, her reflection will show her true spider form so she stays away from mirrors or reflective surfaces so she doesn't get found out. Sometimes she will take the form of a young woman holding a crying baby in need of help and when a man walks up to assist her, she will hand them her baby which turns out to be a giant egg sack filled with thousands of tiny baby spiders. And obviously those little spiders will attack the man. It is horrifying. Other times she will entice a man into a quiet shack and begin to play a biwa, which is a Japanese instrument. And while the victim was distracted by the sound of the instrument, she would bind him in spider silk threads in order to devour the unsuspecting person as her next meal. So basically if she invites a man into her home, he is usually never seen again. And this creature can operate this way for years and years, even in the middle of a busy city. And the skeletons of hundreds of men are just building up into her home. There's like no furniture. It's just skeletons from floor to ceiling. What's really creepy is that this creature technically has three forms. She has her spider form, her complete human form, and then she has a mix of both. An upper body of a woman with legs of a spider protruding out from her back and sometimes she has smaller fire breathing spiders coming out from her legs and uh, yeah it's quite a sight for sure. So I really wanted to talk about Jorin Falls because the Jorogumo is often associated with locations of waterfalls. In particular the Jorin Falls of Izu have many legends about a spider woman who is the mistress of the waterfall. The original legend says that one day there was this man who was resting by 
the waterfall when he suddenly felt this sticky spider web clinging to his leg. So he pulled the spider web off of him and stuck it to a nearby tree stump. And the Jorogumo then quickly dragged the stump into the water. So if that was still attached to his leg, he would have been dragged into the water. After this event, the villagers avoided the falls. However, a woodcutter who was unaware of the story tried to cut trees in the area. He dropped his axe into the pool below the falls. And when he went to try and get his axe back, a woman appeared out of nowhere and gave it back to him. And she told him that he must not ever tell anybody what he saw. Well, unfortunately, he soon after forgot her words. And one day after drinking too much, he spoke about his adventure and how he saw this woman by the falls. Well, after he fell asleep that night, his body was pulled outside of his house by this invisible string. And the next day, the villagers found his corpse floating in the water below the Joran Falls. There is a second version of this legend that talks about a woodcutter who actually fell in love with a woman who he met by the falls. He went to see her every day, but his body grew weaker with every single visit. And a priest of a local temple suspected that he was being enchanted by the Jorogumo, who people called the mistress of the falls. So on the man's next visit, the priest accompanied him. And when a spider's web wrapped around the woodcutter's leg, the priest let out this giant shout and the thread suddenly vanished. So basically the priest just saved this man's life. Well, despite knowing that the woman he loved was a Jorogumo, the woodcutter persisted, eventually wanting to marry her, but the people of his village refused to allow it, understandably. So the woodcutter ran to the Joran Falls where he was entangled in spider silk and pulled beneath the water, gone forever. So because he still wanted to marry her and didn't listen to anyone around him, he eventually died by her hand, which is not surprising. So I don't know about you guys, but while I was doing research for this video, it really reminded me of the other mother from Coraline. Obviously she is half woman, half spider creature on the bottom. So I really wonder if they were kind of inspired by this Japanese creature because whenever I picture her, I picture the other mother and obviously she is really creepy. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this Japanese urban legend. If you want me to do more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know and maybe comment some down below that you want me to cover. These are some of my favorite things to research. They're so creepy and intriguing. But yeah, don't forget to enter to win the backdrop behind me. And if you would like any of the new things we have on the website, these earrings and necklace set, I put a link down below in the description. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!